One thing that I really do love about Philly is the amalgamation of people. It's vast. Um, you get to meet people from all over the world, honestly. Growing up in a city where public transit was very accessible has made it easy to like easy to explore and I I like that about Philadelphia. Something I love about Philadelphia is probably the communities. Though they can be like rough sometimes, I feel like when people from the same community come together, it's always beautiful to see. I love my city. You know, it's just, uh, we had a point in time where a lot of people are hurting. People need love, peace, and, and support. And with that, we'll get a long way. We're, like, right now we're living in a world where, like, you know, it's commodity over community, for sure. Um, I think the importance of community is, like, having people that you can depend on who live right next to you or who play a big part in your life. And um, I think that's important for everybody to have some sort of like just social support right next to you, someone who you can talk to. We have a lot of talent in the city, a lot of hidden gems, a lot of talent, uh, sports, art, music. We take pride in, in what we do. We, we competitive people, but that's what, makes, that's what makes this city a tough city. I feel like if you could come up in Philadelphia, you could find your way anywhere else. It's a lot of talent out here. It's a lot of aspirations. It's a lot of ambition. It takes a village to grow anything. So I think in the, in the world where those policies are put in place to bring youth in the best interest, I think, I really hope it's possible. <laughs> I hope so. I have a nonprofit called Philly Youth Make a Change, and I've seen the impact that young people taking initiative can make. I've seen people come out just because they know that these are events are, are led by young people. I've seen people donate just because they know that these are young people that are taking the initiative to do certain things to make these positive changes. Support every organization that can make a significant change in the youth sector. So you feel me, people coming into their formative years, give them the opportunity to put themselves in positions of success. You can't, you can't be given direction, you gotta find that direction yourself. Guidance, guidance is how we stay resilient. Everybody needs different needs. Everybody's mind works differently. Um, everybody's emotions are different. They handle things differently. So I feel like different approaches are needed for different people, whether it's an adult or a baby or a child or a teenager. I think a lot of times young people do have a lot to say and sometimes that older people look down at younger people in a way and kind of feel like, oh, you're, like, you're not even out of school. Your opinions don't really matter. We know what we're doing. And so I think that just listening and appreciating what young people have to say is a really good first step. If we have one generation that can start the foundation and be the voice, then the next generation will look at that and say, okay, well, they've done it, so now it's time for us to pick up the pieces and continue on a legacy as well. When an adult believes in me, I feel seen and heard, especially like when I have some crazy ideas and was it they're on board with it. <laughs> So getting the opportunity to be seen by like someone who is wiser, like, you know, and it's, it's a good feeling to know that, like, you know, you're not the only one thinking like that. The man that I've become now as to what I was when I was 17 years old, it's, it's, a, it's a totally different person. And you just gotta give that, that flower time to grow, you know, and it's, it's not gonna become a flower as soon as you put it in the dirt. It gotta come from the dirt. I dream of Philadelphia where people both young and old can engage with their community and be fulfilled by their environment.